Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three string cigar box guitar. This is a great request. I really, I always love this song. Uh, this is Shine by Collective Soul. And uh, so I'm playing through my Vox Mini Go. I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. The song is actually in drop D and if they play one half step flat, which means if you want to play along with them on your three string cigar box guitar, you're gonna have to flatten all your strings a half a step. So instead of G, D, G, you are gonna be F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. So if you wanna do that, you can do that and play along with the album. So uh, here we go. the whole song seriously that's the whole song what do we got going on g d g 42 34 24 these are my gauges they're wound electric guitar strings like i said i'm playing through this vox mini go and i'm using a lot of grit and i'm also using some tremolo which gives it that wah, 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 wah. that helicopter-ish type of sound so what I want to do first is let's let's look at your guitar for a second. You've got three strings. One, two, three. What I want you to do is just play the D and the G. Not the G and the D, the D and the G. So the upper two strings. And to teach this, I'm gonna turn this tremolo off because we don't need it. It's just a distraction at this point. So what you're doing is, is you're putting your pick on that D string and you're gonna play both those strings just like that. Trying to avoid that G. So what we're doing is, is we're gonna be playing some dyads. If you haven't seen my video on dyads, these are two note chords and I have, a, I have five videos on them and I'll shoot a link down below so that you can see that. But basically you're playing two notes and you're gonna play, the notes you're gonna play are seventh fret, ninth fret, and 11th fret. So the D, the E, and the F sharp. And you're gonna play E to F sharp, like so. So you're gonna hammer on, or you could, So, 9 to 11, 9, 7, 9 to 11, 7. That's your first time through. The second time through, you're going to come up to this A. That's on the 14th fret. Then you're back to seven, nine, 11. So first section, second section, first section. Second section. So again, first section, nine, 
Okay, seven, nine, eleven. So we're going nine, eleven, nine, seven. Second section, nine to eleven, fourteen, seven, nine, eleven. And I, I can kind of strum these two. So get used to down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up on that D, G string. I also tend to take my pick instead of flat. I turn it a little bit, and this is an exaggeration, but I turn it a little bit this way so it kind of rubs across as opposed to striking it flat. Like that, as opposed to that. So that may help you. I'm not, I don't know, but it, it's something to help you. So, then we're going to go to a C chord. And this is a fifth fret bar chord or a pinch. And it's on the fifth fret, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. It's on that fifth fret right there. And there's a dot that tells you where it is. Open G, and then we do it again. taking my pinky and hitting that F note. So D, pinky, F. You could certainly do this with this D note down here. It's the same note. Sounds a little different. Some people like that. You could play that right there on that F. Same F note. F note is the same. It's a D and an F, and that F is on the 10th fret, the D is on the 7th fret. So it goes like, uh, to it. So playing those two notes at the same time and strumming them or there are some tiny little things within the album version where they're doing something like they're doing a so there's that and if you really are a stickler to exactly what it is tune your guitar down a half a step like I said F sharp C sharp F sharp 
and then play along with the album version. They, they don't do that at all except on the album version. So there are some wonderful live versions and uh, they're just fantastic to watch. So take a look at those. The song is relatively simple, but using these dyads and getting used to getting used to living on those two strings at the same time can prove difficult to beginners. So if you have to just go down down. So that's really, really a lot of fun. And uh, so I am playing here through this Vox Mini Go. And uh, I just wanted to show you where I'm at. Let me unplug this thing because I can't really, can't really show you. It's not as easy as the Cube to show you what's going on. You can see my amp type here. And in the beginning, I was using the tremolo so that's at about there, that tremolo. So, you know, that's really fun to use. Uh, tremolo is really, really nice. It gives it kind of a helicopter effect. And on this song, I think it, I think it works really well. Um, so let me show you how that sounds again, in case you missed it before. I'm about halfway into that tremolo. <laughs> can hear that helicopter effect. Tremolo is wonderful for that. So uh, this is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Really, I wouldn't be in this space playing with these cool pieces of equipment without you. Um, you are what makes this channel special to me and to everyone else. So thank you for your generous support. We are an do all donation channel. We don't uh, monetize any videos. That way you don't get any commercials. I can't stand commercials in the beginning of videos. It drives me nuts. I never wanted this channel to be that. Now, if there are commercials in front of videos of mine, it's because the YouTube has gotten the artist or the copyright owner to do that. They monetize it, not me. So thank you so much for everything. PayPal and Square links down below. Really appreciate the uh, all the donations and all the support. Really, really do. Thank you for everything.